When LaMichael James was being recruited by then offensive coordinator Chip Kelly, he told Coach Kelly that he had no interest in attending a West Coast school. But Coach Kelly was persistent, so LaMichael decided to take in a few games on television and said he was intrigued by the speed of Oregon's offense and decided to pay a visit to Eugene, but admitted before he came to Eugene, he had to get out the map just to find out exactly where Oregon was located. Well, I think it's safe to say that this program and Oregon fans are thankful he found it. He's unstoppable unbreakable, and at times simply unbelievable. Sophomore running back LaMichael James is redefining Oregon's running game in a blink of an eye. I mean, I'm very passionate about football. I love football, and you know, I think I'm just competitive. Running backs coach Gary Campbell says that competitive drive, combined with his rare blend of power and speed and his 5 foot 9, 185 pound frame, allows James to do more than what you expect him to do. And he's just tough. That was pretty evident after taking some big hits against Arizona. I'm cool. Uh, I was pretty cool in the game. My eyes just hurt really bad, but uh, you know, you got to play through that type of stuff. You know, uh, if I didn't have a concussion, then I should probably play through anything. Coach Chip Kelly has called him the engine that runs Oregon's offense. He fuels this fire and is leading the nation in rushing average at 154.8 yards per game. After serving his one game suspension, LaMichael said he had an extra drive to make his sophomore season debut against Tennessee unforgettable. On the handoff and it'll be LaMichael trying to get it outside and he'll go left now. He's got a block if he can get a little corner. He does first down 40, 45, 50 down the sideline. Cuts it back inside now, back outside. Still this team at the 20. They go to the 10. He is going to dive into the end zone. The Michael James with a world class effort. He's eclipsed the 200-yard rushing barrier three times this season, rolling up 222 versus Portland State, 239 at USC, and a Pac-10 season high 257 versus Stanford. But even after big games like this one, Michael says he's rarely satisfied, always pushing to improve. Uh, the USC game, uh, that was really a tough game. You know, you have to just pull it out in the end. You know, keep fighting in uh, long drives and. I think I had like 36 carries, that's the most carries I ever had, you know, just keep getting those first downs and uh, I felt really good after that game. In less than two seasons, James passed the 3,000 yard marker against Arizona, becoming only the second player in Oregon history to accomplish the feat. The sophomore from Texas is only 202 yards shy of the all-time record. James is one of the three finalists for the Walter Camp National Player of the Year Award and a Doak Walker finalist given to the nation's top running back. James earned All-America honors and is a first-team Pac-10 academic All-American. That means a lot to me, you know, that was one of my main goals, you know, I really worked hard to, to do that, you know, it, it is kind of tough to balance school with grades and all that type of stuff, and uh, I really take pride in trying to do both, and uh, that award means more than me, um, to me than any other award that I've got. He will most likely be invited to New York as a finalist for the Heisman Trophy, but for LaMichael, none of that matters, except... Winning the national championship. That's the main goal, you know, I always thought about that. I always wanted to be the guy holding the little ball up, giving it a kiss and all that good stuff.